picked up my new glasses. Let me just show you though how much they have to adjust glasses for me. That is a full inch at a 90 degree angle that they have to make to fit my tiny head so that these will stay on my face. It's ridiculous. Hello, it is April 4th, the fourth day of VEDA, and I want to do something today that I noticed a lot of people doing. So I've been casually scrolling through the VEDA tag on Tumblr, and I noticed something that most people did on the first day of VEDA was make introductory videos. It didn't occur to me to do this because I kind of figured, uh, oh, new channel, it's mostly just like my friends and regular viewers watching, I, I don't need to introduce myself. But then it occurred to me, I've never really made an introductory video or, or anything like that. I even avoid Tumblr posts that are like, list five facts about yourself. I guess I assume that it'll never be that interesting, but I've been asking you guys so much to, to share this channel, and you have been, thank you very much. So maybe there are a lot of new people who don't know me on my other channel, and just for the future, I think it'll be nice to have a sort of introductory video that people can check out and get to know a little bit more about me. So here we go, actual introduction to moi. Hello, my name is Lauren Bird. That is my real last name, it's not just a username. Don't actually particularly like it. But hey, I've been uploading videos on YouTube since actually 2006, but only really vlogging for real since about 2011. I am 23, I'll be 24 next month on Star Wars Day. I live in New York City right now, but I was born in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I grew up mostly outside of Dallas, Texas. I work full-time for the Harry Potter Alliance, which is how most people know me. I originally went to university outside of Austin, Texas, but ended up graduating from New York University after a brief stint studying in Amsterdam. I also studied abroad in England at Cambridge University when I was in high school, during which time I got to play Hermia in A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Summer Shakespeare Festival. I used to act a lot from about ages 6 to 18. Had a bit of an existential crisis in high school and ended up deciding to be a professor for a while. And then I fell back into filmmaking and now I work as a spokesperson and I do YouTube and I'm kind of getting back into improv and comedy, so we'll see where I end up. Before I wanted to be an actor as a kid, I wanted to be a sidekick or a cowboy. Very practical career aspirations I've always had. I have one brother, one mom, one dad. Had some step-siblings for about a year. I have 14 cousins just on on one side, none on the other. I also have four uncles and one father, all named Dave. We're a really creative family. I have a congenital transitional lumbosacral vertebrae, which is a fancy way to say that I was born with two of my vertebrae fused together, my L5 and my sacrum just down here. And then at the other end of my spine, my head got pushed down onto my spine too far at one point when I was roughhousing in high school. I have limited head mobility, a lot of headaches, and I'm not supposed to ride roller coasters. But on the bright side, I can make myself pass out if I want to get out of anything. Take that, spine conditions. I also have double jointed elbows, only eight toenails, and ankle aglossia, which means that my tongue is connected all the way on the bottom and only goes out this far. Uh, 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 it's just... It's just a stub of a tongue. I'm also lactose intolerant and can fall asleep at any time in just about any environment and am known for doing so. I don't like rodents or clowns or spider webs, but spiders are okay. Just the webs creep me out. I don't want to touch them. I probably think too much about death and don't think enough before opening my mouth. I'm very clumsy and don't usually understand things the way most people do. As a kid, I took lessons for many years in piano, singing, percussion, karate, soccer, and all kinds of dance. I have studied and at one time could conversationally speak and read French, Dutch, German, Mandarin, Spanish, and American Sign Language. But these days I'm pretty much struggling to just remember proper English, because lately my brain kind of only thinks and emojis and gifs. I like music a lot. I also like motorcycles and working on cars, so haven't really gotten to do much of either of those things since living in New York. I like weird sodas and craft beers, books and astronauts and adventures and punk boys in tight pants. Clearly, I also like waffles and turning jokes that weren't even funny to begin with into fully produced endeavors. I like things that are subversive and thoughtful. I just like creating things. I love doing new things. I love learning new things. I love pushing myself to be constantly improving and going outside of my comfort zone. And I like you, all of you who watch my videos and support what I do. You rock. I am heading to the Quidditch World Cup tomorrow. It is this Saturday and Sunday in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you're nearby, you should totally go. Quidditch is actually a really intense sport to watch. I will be working the HPA's booth all weekend. If you will be there, feel free to come by and say hi, bring a book, buy a t-shirt. In the meantime, there will be some pre-recorded beta videos going up while I'm gone, and when I get back, I will hopefully have lots of fun footage from the World Cup to share. And that is quite enough from me today. I will talk to you later.